You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. I'm coming for you. or I'll shoot. I repeat, drop your weapons, now! Are you alright? Eh, uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, I'll patch you it's up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. They regrouped so fast started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. 
Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, right? Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. Why dive straight for the AV? Didn't notice the markings? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Couldn't have been more wrong. I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything. See anything. Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West. Small unit. Your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but... Couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. I'll go after him. Stay with Mitch. I'll be fine. I'm going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds solid. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pen Am... What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going. Before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your helmet. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help Oh, own. so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. See them? Let's follow. Find them. things to take care of, too. Mm -hmm. You know it. Let's get them! He's armed! Watch out! There's a sniper behind the van!
I admit it. Let's finish this! The rest must have taken Hellman with them. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. Better hurry then. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. They're looking to call their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I hope it's contacted the Alder Keldos. All that damn interference. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one pile of shit, only to trip into another bigger one. These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding Hellman.
I'm unarmed. What the hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Martin. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Brought a man with them. A man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Covering you. You even get any customers out of here? Shit, anyone even drive this way? Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them. Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? In exchange for your terrible memory. <laughs> don't you worry. I'll forget you too. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first roadie. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... What a mess! You. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're Nobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. 
Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder helmets. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. It's all I tried to raise Scorpion. Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you were always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but you're family, and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. About everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. 
Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Constructed, that's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out and dry. you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arasaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... ...neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arasaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this suit's the one who's gonna help us. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo! It's bargaining time is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. 
minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against this. And no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me, what's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts, slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know. Just for a little while? No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Because, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try, just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese, at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What I have to right go. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Mm. V did not ah, give me What the? the Fuck! Sit down, goddammit! Third trimester cramping is not likely. Huh, you sure? 
Can't be that bad if you're making light. Fuck! That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat money while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka. Blah, blah. Smash Mikoshi. You really are turning into me. Right. We're bickering like a couple of geezers on a park bench. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it, staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah, maybe. What was it like when you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? <laughs> Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness. Had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember cold, black void, fear. Or, or was that your death? Koshi. Why'd Arasaka even build it? If I could only see inside Saburo's head. Uh huh. People can be bought, brainwashed, but it's only in Makoshi that you can peer inside a soul, pick it apart, reprogram it. They've amassed quite a collection. Scary talented runners, soul killed, packed away, probably using them now, probably controlling them. So, ruling hearts and minds, that's what it's about. The usual. Corps have always tried to shackle people one way or another. Saburo's ambition is greater. He's out to control humanity. Well, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Makoshi is worst. Know why? They can change who you are. Turn you into someone else without you even knowing it. Yep, goddamn right. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what our sock is doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. 